Okay, so today I thought I'd make an update video about the Ford. Um, I got the gooseneck plate welded in and uh, I got the trailer hooked up to it, but I don't have the plug or anything in. I'm in the process of doing that. Um, it's a little bit windy out today, so I'm going to move the 2010 over there and I'm going to back the truck in the barn and finish wiring. Uh, the plug and I put uh, had them magnetic lights on it. I run it around a while like that, and uh, I bought some lights that have reverse lights in them because I found out the reverse lights work on this truck. And uh, I got to finish wiring them in and put the brake controller in, and it should be ready to go for this weekend. I'm gonna drive it to the sale. Um, Try it out. Uh, I gotta find a seat for the girlfriend though. She said she wants to go. I told her I'll just strap a lawn chair and she can put the seatbelt on and hold herself down. Um, I put LED lights in the dash. It makes a night day difference. I couldn't see the dash with the other lights that were in it. And so I broke down and I bought some LED lights. It was for a pack of two it was 15 bucks and I needed four lights. Um, I want to get light for over here and the ones in here uh, the air gauge and then the, there's a little light here they take a bulb different style bulb and nobody has them so I gotta order them um, I'll get more video of it after I get the lights wired in uh, I gotta unhook the trailer from it and I gotta unhook the trailer, you can't see it, but I gotta unhook the trailer from the Dodge. Um, I delivered the bean head yesterday to a guy that watches my videos. Uh, sat and talked to them, I think, for about two hours. Real nice people. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I gotta leave at 5 o'clock. There's a National Wild uh, Turkey Federation banquet I'm going to. And then after I get back from that, if I'm not done with the truck, I'll work on it some more since it'll be in the barn. If it wasn't so windy today, I would have cleaned out the goat barn, but it's too windy. I don't want to be eating whatever I'm taking out. So I might wait a week or two. I'll put down some more straw for that. Um, but the truck runs good. I've put a few miles on it, running it back and forth. To the school where we welded the plate on and just driving it here and there just to drive it. Uh, it'll do the speed limit empty. We'll see how it does when it gets a load on it. Uh, it needs an alternator. I gotta get an alternator for it. I gotta jump it just about every time I start it unless uh, the battery's charged enough from charging it before. Uh, that'll cost me a little pretty penny. I think the Napa the next town over rebuilds them, but I'm not sure. I can buy a remanufactured one for like 170 bucks. But so it needs an alternator. It needs another battery. It's supposed to have two batteries. Um, I think that's about it. Hopefully, I'll buy a bed at the sale. I think there was a couple over there. Um, I'll try to get some videos at the sale. Stuff that's neat or stuff that I might buy then I'll make a video of what I did buy so uh, I'll uh, end this portion of the video here and I'll pick up as I'm doing some wiring so stay tuned okay so this is what I've got done to the truck as far as lights I got one of these lights on each side um, I got the junction box wired up well not wired up it's in there I got all the wires run that need to be run. Um, I got the trailer plug mounted where it's going to go for right now. And this is my temporary wiring for the lights. I'm going to put heat shrink connectors on them all and then wire, or, uh, tape them all up. This was one of the wires that was in the lights that were originally on it. I decided I'll just use that for temporary until I get the bed mounted and then I might make my own wiring harness. So the wires don't match up to what they're going to match up to here. 
Uh, they're just, I know which ones run which, so it'll just be, uh, I think they're all somewhat right, though. See, that would be the marker lights, and that's, eh, it don't matter. They're somewhat wired up right. Um, I'm not going to have time to wire it today. I'll have to do it tonight, later, after this banquet we go to. Um, it'll be easy to wire. You just strip the wires, put connectors on them, and then match them all up. Um, probably won't get the brake controller in. But I probably won't need a brake controller for this track. It stops pretty good. Um, I ordered an alternator for it today. The price to rebuild one and to get one, or to buy one, was about the same. It was actually probably a little bit more to get one rebuilt. So I just decided to order one, 164 bucks. So that'll be in Wednesday. Uh, I don't know when I'll get batteries for it. Batteries are going to be expensive, but it's got a good battery in it. <laughs> Fires it up as long as I can get it to charge. Um, I got to get a, make a new bracket right here. You can see the threads are wore out and that nut's stripped. But I'm going to have to heat this up because I went to take it out and the head turned a little bit, but the backside didn't move at all. So I'm going to heat it up and... Um, get it out, cut that rod off, and uh, cut it off right here, and then I'll weld me a new one on, and then that'll be good to go. But other than that, it's not too bad. Not too much I need to do to it. You can see the plate. It's not pretty, but it's functional. It's not going to come off. We went and made studs, three studs on each side, and they, for some reason, didn't want to hold. You'd get them just about tight, and they'd strip out. They'd break off right where the weld was. And we tried welding three or four different times, and finally we just got them on their hand tight. And I think this side only has one stud in it right here. I think the other ones have stripped out. Well, it's got two. This one's missing. And then the other side's got three. You can see them there. When it gets nice out, I'm going to take a wire brush and wire brush the frame and... Uh, use POR15 on it. Okay, back to what I was talking about. I had two phone calls trying to make this video. Um, I said I was going to POR15 the frame. Won't have to worry about it rusting anymore. Um, I'll eventually paint the wheels and everything black. Uh, redo the fuel tank. I need to take it off and clean it. It sat for so long. Condensated. You can see all the crap and the, t the caps got corrosion on it. So I have to do that. Uh, I think they put a patch in it there. And it's starting to peel off. I don't know if I want to fill the tank up. I think I'm going to take the patch out or take, get this crap off of it, see what it looks like. And uh, either try to fix it or get another tank. And then uh, do the front, paint the front rims black, paint the bumper black. Eventually the truck will get painted black. I have an all black truck. And it'll have chrome lug nut covers and chrome hubcaps on it. So that's the plan. Hopefully this at the sale I can find a bed for it. And uh, maybe find some toolboxes for it. I got a spot I can mount a toolbox over here where the hose is. Let's walk over there. I, 
could mount something under the steps on both sides if I wanted to. I could mount a toolbox here. I could mount a toolbox all along each side of the frame. Plenty of room for toolboxes. But I don't know if I explained this in any of my other videos, but this is a uh, air hose I put on. They had air check here to... Um, I don't know what they had it there for. But they had the male end of an air hose there. And I said, I'll just put an air hose in it. And then I can, that's a 25 foot hose. I don't know if it'll be any good. It might not stretch enough. I might get one that's a little bit more flexible. And I should be able to reach all the tires with it if I need to put air in any of the tires. And I want to get a, put a stack on it and get rid of the under underbelly exhaust there I'll either do that or I'll put uh, dual exhaust on it because it's all rotted out up in there and when they made their own Y pipe they just welded whatever pieces of metal they could find together to make a junction there and uh, I was trying to take the muffler off to see how loud it was but everything up there just wiggles too much so I left it on. I'll uh, go to a junkyard when I try to find me a seat and stuff and get a uh, stack for it. It's got all these bolts here I can put uh, mounts to or whatever. So yeah, that's the update on the truck. Uh, I don't know if I'll get the white light. Uh, the lights wired tonight or not I might not be taking it to the sale at least tomorrow anyways maybe Sunday if I buy something I'll probably pick it up Sunday it's a two-day sale Saturday is the farm machinery and then Sundays the lawnmowers and little stuff it's a good sale a lot of junk though I mean when I say junk I don't mean you know stuff that's useful I think junk. I mean actually junk stuff that should go to the scrapyard as I was leaving when I took the corn head over there there was a trailer came in with nothing but pallets of scrap and it's that way every year just piles and piles of scrap it's ridiculous one of the sales that I go to that just happened a couple weeks ago in over towards Amish country they put a five dollar no sale fee on their stuff so that eliminated a lot of junk because pretty much everything was no sale so well that'll be it for the video I'll upload this and if I do any work I'll upload that so thanks for watching so it's uh, much later in the day now it's it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I've been working on this since about 9 o'clock. Um, I finished it about uh, midnight, and I had to uh, let my phone charge. But I got the trailer plug installed. I got the trailer brake controller installed. And what you're looking at now is the trailer lights. They all work. I put a license plate light on it. Um, I know it's hard to see. Oh, I think I got a flashlight. But I wanted to get a video of everything working. So that way, uh, when I upload the video here in a little bit, I wouldn't have to make a second part. But you can see the light on the brake controller there. Um, that light shows the trailer plugged in. You can see it switches to red. And you can hear, I don't know if you can hear the buzzing, but the trailer brakes work. Uh, there's the LED dash lights. They make a big difference. Um, I don't have the key or I'd show you the reverse light. Got to have the key for them to work. Mm -hmm. 
Gotta have the key for the brake light to work too. But got the trailer plug all wired in. Everything's all kind of tucked in there. It's not pretty, but I used what I had. This piece that runs to the trailer plug there, this piece here, was the main wire. I cut some off, and this other wire here is from another light. Uh, but yeah, plan on driving it to the cell tomorrow. I uh, ordered an alternator for it. I think I said that in another part of the video. So I'll get that put on when it comes in. But I'll explain a little bit what I did for the brake controller. This wire here, this black wire, was connected here to this black wire. And that was a power, a 12 volt power to the back. And when I checked it at the back, it didn't work. Or at least I didn't think it worked. Um, so what I did is the black wire that is in that loom that runs to the back, I used for the trailer brake control. And if I need to run power to the back, I'll just have to run a different wire, I guess. I'd rather have trailer brakes and 12 volt power to the back anyways. I don't see a need. For that but then i routed the wire along that other loom and up and over connected it into the blue for the trailer brakes put in a fusible link there i just got it powered off of another fuse the hot side of another fuse and got everything wired in it was pretty easy to wire in the hardest part was finding the stupid uh the brake switch for the life of me I couldn't find it let me turn the lights off um, you'd think it would be up on the brake and you see them two silver little knobs with the orange wire on them those aren't for the brake switch those are the low air pressure sensors and they run over to here there's a box up in there. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it. But there's a box up in there. That's the buzzer for the low air. And the... Oh, I want to have to open the hood. Wait, look. Right there, you'll see that bright red wire and that elbow with the round piece on top. Right there that's the brake switch for your brake light Let's see if I can point it at my finger no my fingers on the wrong side There's that round piece it took me maybe half an hour to figure out how to do that so if you want to put trailer brakes on a big truck like this with air brakes the um, brake switch is probably on the manifold for the uh, where all the brakes are but I'm happy everything works uh, hopefully I'll be able to find a flatbed when I do everything I did back here will become more permanent I'll be able to mount that in a more permanent spot because I don't think a uh, bumper pull trailer's cord long enough to reach up there but this gooseneck cord, I got it wrapped around the uh, neck there because it's so long. And then the lights, they'll get more permanent. Um, that's just all temporary. Temporary bumper to hold the license plates and lights and all that. And then the mud flaps will get mounted permanently. That bracket will come off there. So... Yeah, there's the uh, update on the truck. Uh, hopefully I'll get a video of it driving tomorrow. I uh, might take the GoPro and suction cup it to the window or something. Pointing back at the trailer. And 
yeah, so there's the update on the Ford for everybody that's waiting for it. I know a couple people have been waiting for the update on the Ford. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but if you look at the sticker, you can see it's a old Anderson's truck from Gibsonburg. That explains the paint scheme. I think that's their color, brown and white and yellow. So there you go, there's the update on the truck.